All right, y'all. I know I made a video about this. Oh my gosh, excuse me. I know I made a video about this yesterday, but now it's time to rant. It is time to rant. This is gonna be on the Hurricane Mike playlist. I know my YouTube channel is Hurricane Mike, but only sometimes Hurricane Mike comes out. Okay, you can go up there. College football. I like watching college football, but it is amazingly tr atrocious of how you can win every single game and not be in consideration for a top four nod. Because LSU, this was the same shit a few years ago with LSU. Granted, we made the playoffs and stuff. But there, I think we finished our number one. But there's this one week where I don't know if he's still in office, but some dude named Rod Mullen said that defense was the missing piece. I don't remember. Or I, I do remember, but I don't really know anything. But. Florida State was undefeated. Not only that, but they were undefeated against good and great teams. Bama, you beat Georgia. Congratulations, you barely beat Georgia. You barely beat South Florida. You lost to Texas. You nearly blew a lead to Arkansas. You had a false start on a kneel down. You barely beat LSU's backup quarterback. While well, you got Florida State. They blew out LSU. They blew out Duke. They blew out so many teams. And I know you're going to say, their backup quarterback going through 55 yards in the last game. And they still won against Louisville. A top 15 team. Their defense was amazing all year. Keon Coleman was amazing all year. But just because your starting quarterback gets hurt, that's just going to stop mattering to people? Ohio State in 2014. Their starting quarterback gets hurt or bench or whatever. Their backup quarterback goes and wins the national championship. The Eagles. Carson Wentz gets hurt before the playoffs. They go and they beat the Patriots and they win the Super Bowl. But no, it don't count because their quarterback wasn't playing. And they're still good enough to win. Yes, Jordan Travis is that missing piece. But there's no way Florida State... Is in the top four before their championship game. And after they win, now they get bounced out. They'll still screw it up in the top 12. In the 12 team playoff. I still believe that they're going to screw it up sometimes. You have Michigan not even wanting to play Bama. Rigged ass sport. And now you're going to have the Bama fans saying, we still beat Georgia. Y'all lost to Texas. Y'all barely beat South Florida. Y'all had a damn false start on a quarterback now. Y'all were down 20 to 7 at halftime versus Tennessee. And you know why there was a four-team format? For every big-name conference, or at least every conference to get, or every conference division to get a playoff team. ACC, one of the best conferences in CFP. I mean, CFB or whatever. They don't even get a team.
All year, LSU got screwed. Florida State got screwed. Oregon got screwed. Washington got screwed. But now since it's your team, you're the only one who cares. LSU loses by a touchdown to Ole Miss. We dropped seven spots. Washington beating Oregon. They're only in the top five. They're in the playoffs now. Gosh, bro. I don't even know. Georgia lost one game. To Bama. They fell five spots. After losing by a field goal. What else can I even say about this stupid ass committee? And now you got Bama fans saying, but they needed the top four teams to be in the playoffs. Well, newsflash Florida State is better than Bama! You know why? They blew out LSU's starting Heisman quarterback. Okay. Let's get that. And that basically puts them in right there. But if you want to take that out of consideration, how about their backup quarterback leading their team to a win? But your backup quarterback struggled against South Florida! Ain't nobody know who South Florida is. I didn't even know what, they are, what their initials were. 17 to 3. 3. Florida State in an overtime game beat Clemson. They were the only SC. Dude, the ACC outbeat the SEC. And they don't even get a team? Florida State played Clemson. Florida State played Clemson. It went into overtime and Florida State was able to win. But Bama, when they played their team, Auburn, when Bama played Auburn, stupid, when Bama played Auburn, if it wasn't for that last second touchdown, y'all lose. Don't try to hide it. Y'all got lucky all year. I guarantee you, if Bama got left out the playoffs, if Bama was undefeated and Florida State had one loss, and Jalen Milrow gets hurt. Who do you think they, who do you think they put it in? They're still putting in Bama. Not because Bama's backup is better than Florida State's backup. But because of the money. All every year. It's about who's the best team. No, it's not about who's the best team. Who will bring us a paycheck? Who who will fans actually sit and watch? Without taking into consideration, oh wait, have a shoe got some fans too. Nah, man, this is Bama. Like, just because they can't go two years in a row without putting in Bama, it's all about the money. People are like, every week in college football is a playoff game. No, it's not. It's how to play for fun. I'm sick of this damn committee. Telling us about the wins, the strength of schedule, the ranked opponents. What's the point? Y'all would rather schedule. Y'all would rather schedule a week one game where Bama has to play an unranked team that from the American Athletic and beat them fifty six to seven than putting a Big Twelve school against Bama. Cause y'all don't care. I don't care about no damn fans. You only care about the teams who's always in it. I don't even think you can do that no more. It should be Georgia, 
Texas, Washington, and FSU. Pathetic. If Florida State would have lost to Louisville and you have two 12 1 teams, I understand it. But no. Just no. No! I'm done, bro. Good night.